Hey guys, my name is Aaron. Are you part of the 70% of Americans that experience digital live stream? In this video, we're going to take a look at a few pair of glasses from Pixel Eyewear to see if they're really any good at helping with digital live stream. Let's get to it. Real quick before getting started, wanted to give a real big thanks out to Pixel Eyewear for sitting out a couple of pairs of glasses for me to share with you guys. If you end up being interested at all, check the description box down below for the link to Pixel Eyewear's website directly. And then also make sure you stick around to the end of the video because they've also provided a promo code to save you a few dollars if you decide to pick up a pair. Today we're looking at our phones, our computers, our TVs more than we ever really have in the past. The blue light that's emitted from all of these screens is actually harmful for our eyes and can cause digital eye strain. Side effects of digital eye strain include eye fatigue, dry eyes, blurred vision, and even headaches. Are you dealing with any of that? I work for a technology company, so I'm in front of a computer monitor five days a week, eight hours a day. That's just my job. And then when I get off of work, I come home and you've got the cell phones, you've got TV, and then I've also got my computer screens behind me for whenever I'm doing video editing, scripting for new videos, or trying to play Fortnite and not be terrible at it. At the end of the day, my eyes were noticeably fatigued and they were dry. I've looked at computer glasses or gunner glasses before in the past, but the typical design choices for those were always super aggressive and the lenses were just ridiculously pure yellow. So for me, they've always been over in that bucket over here where it'd be like, man, I wish they'd come up with a better design, but right now, they're not worth it. I was introduced to Pixel Eyewear by Stephanie Carls when she mentioned that she herself was dealing with digital eye strain. Stephanie is a fellow tech reviewer here on YouTube. You can check her channel out up here if you haven't already before in the past. Stephanie mentioned that the Pixel Eyewear glasses had actually helped her, so it intrigued me to want to check them out for myself. The biggest drawing factor for me to want to consider them in the first place was the fact that they don't have that Gunner Glasses dehydrated P urine yellow lens that everything else seems to have. If you've looked at glasses like this before in the past, you know what I'm talking about. Don't judge me for using the word urine and P in a video. The two pair of glasses that I have are the Capra in black and the Aspers in black. The Capra have a very modern look to them while the Aspers have more of a dated look to them and neither of them really would be my cup of tea if I were looking for normal glasses at an eye doctor. However, after using them, I'm actually really liking the style of both. Pixel glasses are capable of blocking out 50% of blue light while being able to block out up to 95% of the strongest wavelengths of blue light without having to have that aggressive yellow tint. Now there is still a yellow tint, but it's not anywhere close to being what typical gunner glasses are. Looking at them on my face right now, I don't think you're gonna be able to tell that they even have a tint. I'll have to show you in B-roll for you to even notice it. I've been wearing these glasses daily for roughly three weeks now when I'm at work, and I can tell a noticeable difference when I come home at the end of the day. My eyes are less fatigued and they're not nearly as dry as they were before. During my testing, I've noticed that these glasses are pretty enjoyable to wear while driving as well. And I didn't know it, but that's because after looking on their website, that these glasses are capable of blocking out UV light. So even though they're not tinted like typical sunglasses, I found myself not squinting as much as I would if I wasn't wearing sunglasses or these glasses at all. Now these glasses, of course, are not like typical sunglasses. So if you go to put them on and then take them off, go to put them on and take them back off, you're really not gonna be able to tell much of a difference between the tint and the non-tint. However, if you leave the glasses on for an hour or even 20 minutes or 10 minutes and then take the glasses off, you'll instantly notice how much harsher the light is that's around you and that's coming from your electronic devices. The way that I've heard other Pixel Eyewear users explain what it's like to put these glasses on is that it's like putting a warm blanket on your eyes. Sounds a little weird, but I'm 100% in agreement with that. You may not notice it the first few times that you put the glasses on, but once you do and once you use them a little bit more, you'll notice it and it is so nice. There are a few things that I also wanted to go ahead and mention and just let you know from my experience with these glasses. And point number one on that is that there is an adjustment period. For me, the first day, and really day two wasn't as bad, but the first day, definitely, these glasses gave me a headache. I didn't feel right. I just kind of felt a little dizzy, a little weird. Like it, I wasn't nauseous or anything, but it just, I felt funny. And it's just because there's an adjustment period with these glasses. I looked online multiple people complain of the same thing and every person says just give it a little bit more time and you'll get through it and you'll be just fine i'm the same way after the first couple of days i can take them off put them back on and it, they don't bother me at all 
So if you feel funny, don't worry about it. You'll get through it. Just keep pushing through. The second thing I wanted to point out is that Pixel does claim that these glasses are specifically designed to be resistant against smudges. I've kind of had the opposite experience and I don't really know how. I wear contacts most of the time and I wear glasses when I get home. I don't get smudges on my glasses like I've managed to get on these things. Not really a deal breaker for me, just take a microfiber cloth, like the one that comes in the bag with the glasses, wipe them off and go on about your day. Not really a big deal. After three weeks of wearing these glasses, one thing that I'm still trying to adjust to is the display of text on a computer screen when I'm wearing these glasses. When I don't wear the glasses, of course the light is harsher and I wanna put them back on, but when I'm not wearing them, text looks sharp, it looks crisp like it's supposed to. When I put the lenses on, that text seems to get a little blurry. And it's not like blurry to where I can't read it. Like I wear contacts, I can still read it. It just doesn't seem as sharp as it does when I'm not wearing the glasses. And this may be because it's filtering out some type of light that assists with the, with the sharpness of the image or, or the text, I'm not quite sure. But it just feels like that the glasses are constantly dirty, even though I know I, they're not because I've cleaned them off with the, with the microfiber cloth. But I put them back on and it just feels like I'm looking through a pair of dirty glasses. One issue that I ran into with these glasses, and not really necessarily for me, but for the friends that I have that have bigger heads, was that these glasses, whether it be the Aspers or the Capra, don't have hinges on them like typical prescription glasses. Typical prescription glasses, the hinge will allow the, the stem here to kind of go out pretty far. You know, this is able to move, but not to the extent here at the hinge, it's the actual plastic that's moving. It's not a deal breaker for me because it doesn't bother my head at all. But when I had friends with larger heads trying them on, the Capras would do the same thing. The actual frame itself sounds like it's being torqued, which it is a little bit. I think if they were to just put a hinge in here that would allow that to kind of flex a little bit, it would take care of that. So maybe that's something that they can do with like a version two of these glasses. I'm not quite sure, but for me, not an issue. But if you've got a wider head, they may be tighter and they're not going to be loose like normal prescriptions because that hinge doesn't allow for this to kind of bend out. Hey guys, future Aaron here. I somehow managed to, to, to not record uh, my final thoughts and the coupon code and I didn't realize that until I was going through editing this video. So my final thoughts on these glasses are if you're dealing with the symptoms of digital eye strain like headaches, dry eyes, or dry red eyes, Fatigue at the end of the day after staring at a computer monitor, definitely give these glasses a shot. I've been very happy with them. When it comes to the coupon code, use the code AaronW, A-A-R-O-N-W, at checkout to save yourself $5 off of a pair of glasses. I'm going to go ahead and toss this back to past Aaron so we can get this video wrapped up and uh, you guys can go on about your day. See you guys. If this video was helpful to you at all, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Would love to help you out in any way that I can. If you want to see consumer related tech reviews on tech that I use and enjoy, and think you will too, hit that subscribe button. But until the next one, this is Aaron. Take care.